Happy Christmas! Just got up. I'm going to put these in the air fryer for our special breakfast. It is preheating. Coffee pot is on. IB is making the coffee right now. Right now in my kitchen. Oh, I'd love to say I had a good night's sleep, but I didn't. I trapped wind all night. <laughs> I was awake and asleep and awake and asleep and awake and asleep and couldn't get comfortable all night. But anyway, I've surfaced really, really late. It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> we had a monster lion, didn't we? We came in after our pub gig last night and we watched TV, didn't we? Until that early hours. It's time to put the cakes in. So sad. Now, these things are not quite like the Portuguese ones from what I remember. From what I remember, it's more like short crust pastry than puff. But... Okay. Well, I'm telling the camera. Oh. <laughs> he hasn't noticed I've got a tripod set. Anyway, that's what they look like. Probably they take between 5 and 15 minutes. It's a bit of a variance. It is. It's it? a 60% variant, my boyfriend says. It looks like I didn't clean that. I'm sure I cleaned up. It's a bit glistening. I'll do all four. Cause I could have just done two, I suppose. Oh, Christmas coffee heaven. We're going to snuggle up on the sofa now. We'll have that together. Look, if you didn't see it already in yesterday's vlog, Santa's been. Santa came quite early, actually. I haven't touched any of those presents yet, and there will be more, because when my parents arrive, they will probably add one or two to the pile. So, so oh, they smell good. Let's have a look then. I gave them 13 minutes, because it was a bit vague. I don't know if they're done. Should I give them an extra two? I'll give them an extra two. Ta -da! Time for the taste test. It's oozing. They're very hot. They've had 10 minutes to stand as per the instructions. They're very good. It is puff pastry now, so they've changed from when they first started selling these in Lidl. So they're more like the Portuguese ones, but they're not because they're very, very buttery, aren't they? And it's said on the box with butter. Delicious. They are delicious, absolutely lush. They're not the same as the Portuguese ones, but they are delicious. And I would, I'd get them again. Do you think they're worth getting again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're very, very hot because, you know, when things are liquidy, they tend to scold your mouth more, don't they? <laughs> I'm trying to get things ready for my parents to arrive because they are actually due five minutes ago. Yes, I've got the foxes ready. Oh, yeah. And on the table, my monster thing of mostly, well, half, strawberry delights. Ideas already dug in, sampled one of them. He's instructed me to take them away from him, out of his reach. Right. We've been opening presents for ages and there's still loads to go, but I thought I'd better film myself opening at least one, except IB has um, been volunteered. This is from IB. Ooh, I know what this is. I asked for one of these, a soup maker. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Right, I've got a question for you now. Right, we're nearly at the end now. This is for me from my loving boyfriend. Is this a gender thing or am I just getting this wrong? When my males wrap me a gift, they seal everything with sellotape, every last bit with sellotape right the way across, you see. And I just do a little sticky tab so they're easy to open. But you need to get the scissors out when my boyfriend wraps it. Is this a gender thing or is my boyfriend just weird? That's my question for you. We're on to the third layer now. Look, look at all this sellotape. What? <laughs> making some progress. Oh, we've got more things wrapped up inside. Oh, you better film me. Look, I can't do this with one hand. Oh, we've got some lovely paper. I thought it was just empty. Is it another whistle? Oh my gosh, another one. He already bought me a lovely, lovely, lovely whistle. Could you tell me the name of the maker? Damien Thompson. Damien Thompson. This is a C whistle. Plays in the key of C major. Oh look, more salad tape. <laughs> <laughs> Blinking egg. Everyone's getting hungry now. <laughs> You'll have to go and get your stuff. I bet McDonald's will be open. <laughs> Probably somebody. will be. Just to get yourself something to tide you over. over yeah. Oh, I wonder what key this is in then. Oh, is it it's a... a B flat body. <gasps> oh, a B flat body, so you swap the heads around. Yeah. Oh, marvellous. Sorry, just correcting my yeah. intonation there. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay, pleasure. Well, we've spent 
absolutely ages, slowly working our way through that mountain of presents and having lots of chit chat and banter and a few laughs when I've got the names wrong on the tags and people have had the wrong presents and things like that. Anyway, so IB's going home because he's going to have a different dinner, a non-vegetarian one. Um, ours isn't strictly veggie actually because there's some cold meat and fish that my dad has bought, a gammon joint or something. Anyway, so I'm going to put somebody on potatoes. I'm going to do roast veg in the oven. Over here, this is going to be the two... Oh, I need another knife. The two... Oh, running out of knives! I don't normally have four people chopping at once. That's a bit small, that one. <laughs> um, anyway, we're going to have two people on green veg here. The collie, the broccoli, sprouts. My mum managed to get a collie because I couldn't find my flip the money last time I went shopping, as you might know if you watched that video. And over here, we've got the rest of the root veg, which we might do in there, or we might just do in the other tray. We'll see how much room we've got, I think. And I'm copping out completely the pies. So I should do both of these in the air fryer. I might as well get them out now, isn't it? So bad grammar there, but anyway, two of those. They were just so delicious. I just thought I can't make anything as delicious as that. And it's just so convenient and easy to put in. So I'll have two of those. Here's the other one. There we are, look. I'm going to fry up some Richmond meat-free sausages for me. Yeah, I think that's it. I've got some gravy granules to make gravy. I'll use some of the vegetable water for that, I think. I'll fry those in a pan, last thing, really. So I think it should be good. Everyone seems to have enjoyed their presents, anyway. Yeah, really nice. It's such a nice sort of social event going through them all because every every item triggers a conversation point, you know. Ibi's going in a minute. He's still chatting to my parents out there, so I'm going to go back and join them. Things are ticking on. We've got all the green veg prepped and I'm a lazy burns. I just do them all in the same pan. I can't be doing all this multiple pans, Lark. We've got the root vegetables parboiling. Mum is fashioning an invented white sauce, <laughs> which is all sorts of ma right. all manners of allergy friendly ingredients, i.e. not much in it. What is in it? Milk, Milk butter, butter corn, flour, corn flour, salt and pepper, salt and pepper. Find the pepper yeah, mixed herbs and basil. Yeah. It'll be very bland. Got the pies ready to go in. I think they take 35 minutes. Oh no, actually they take 45 to 50 minutes. Speaking of allergies, I've made a right boo-boo with these. I thought these were just gonna be like what we had last year, but bigger. But I've just checked the ingredients. They got flipping nut powder in, including walnut, which is my daughter's worst nemesis. So I've given one packet to dad to take home and I'll leave these in their wrapper until after she's gone back to uni and I'll eat them. In January, the table is set. I was just saying other people have like, Christmas crockery, not me, no. Don't want to keep it in the cupboards all year, that's why. I haven't even got matching crockery. One of my plates has it's disappeared. I don't know where it can possibly be. I just wonder if it's got smashed and secreted away. Isabel denies all knowledge, so we don't think that. I, it is a, you'd just tell me if you smashed a plate anyway, wouldn't you? It's not in the dishwasher, not in the cupboard. I had four, honest. <laughs> this is going to be a heat proof mat. That's from my old microwave. <laughs> I don't even have matching cutlery. I've just gathered it from all over the place over the years. I'm circling like a shark now because I'm blooming hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'll have a sneaky look. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't open that because heat goes down. But yeah, that looks good. It's finally ready. So we've got smoked salmon and veggie sausages, which the sausages are hot. Some cold gammon. Dad's cooked at home. We've got roast potatoes, carrots and parsnips. We've got these broccoli, cauliflower and sprouts that mum's digging heartily into because we're all starving. And we got those lovely pies as well. And my mum and dad are washing it down with wine and me and Izzy are having some oh, pots and the pies. Then. The pies are mature cheddar, cauliflower and spinach. It is now nine o'clock. Izzy's just finishing up in the loo, so I'm quickly filming this because I'm trying not to film and impose on our family time. But my parents have gone. They, I think they went about six o'clock, seven o'clock, something like that, maybe a bit later. Izzy and I have just watched the Christmas episode of Doctor Who. She was a bit nonplussed about it. Impressive budget now because they've teamed up with Disney Plus, but Izzy was not convinced by the plot and that sort of thing. But we're going to have a little snacky, feasty tea now. This is our little buffet we've got laid out. We've got some gammon left over from Christmas dinner and some more there in case she wants to chop herself some up. We've got some chicken drumsticks if she'd like some of those. Crackers, stinky camembert. I've had to keep that in a Tupperware. Olives, goat's cheese. Salmon left of dinner. My dad randomly brought a cucumber with him for Christmas Day, so I've chopped some of that up, put it in. And more vegetarian things over here. Izzy might have some, she might not, doubt it. I think she might want to try one of these. What do you think, Is? Oh, yeah. It's like a pepperoni, but vegan. <laughs> You're welcome to try one if you want. 
hello is now the next evening, Boxing Day evening. In fact, we've had a lovely chilled out time. I haven't really been filming very much, just having a private chilled out family Christmas, really. But I thought I would show you what I had for Christmas because these sorts of things tend to go down well. People seem to be interested. So I was a lucky girl. Santa was very nice to me this year. This thing I've got here, I actually just bought because I popped out for a little walk and the shops were open on Boxing Day. I was quite surprised. And they've got a sale on in the works. So I was like, oh, I didn't bring my camera, but look, four quid for this beauty here. So I thought, well, I'll have that. I actually went in thinking they might have the puzzle shape sort because I really wanted one for Christmas. My mum got one from Izzy, but Santa forgot to get me one. So I thought I'll get my own because I had some Christmas money from my dad. So I thought I'd put that towards it, but I got this so far. Anyway, they said they'll have them back in stock at some point. Right, let's see what I got. And this was the main present, I suppose. Well, actually, I don't know if it was the main present, actually, but this was a big present I did specifically ask for, actually. It's a soup maker, so I shall be looking forward to trying that out in the coming days. My daughter's quite interested as well. It's got various settings, smooth and chunky and all sorts. So anyway, I don't know anything about that yet because I haven't tried it. <coughs> Looks a bit like a giant thermos flask. So there we are. I'll tell you about that when uh, I've tried it out and I'll show you how it works then. For now, just leave it by there. Now, speaking of puzzles, my daughter gave me a puzzle. It's a 500 piece Do you notice anything a little bit unusual about this puzzle? Look, it's me and Izzy mostly. This one here is me and my parents play music together in a pub absolutely years ago before Izzy was even born. This one is when Izzy lost her first tooth. I was doing a Kaylee and she was on the dance floor being looked after by a friend of mine who suddenly looked down and Izzy had blood rushing out of her mouth and down her beautiful dress. I don't know if it's showing on that dress but she did get blood all down her new dress and she didn't know what to do and then she realised she'd lost her tooth and there was nothing I could do because I was playing in the band. Uh, but anyway, it was fine. This was me and Izzy in traditional Welsh dress for an event. I was playing for a dance side and she was with me, so we dressed her up as well. Me and my dad and Izzy, and she was little in our old place. What's this one here? Oh, Izzy did play the flute briefly, and that was us doing a little duet in home ed group. Somebody took a photo. This, she's about three, I think. We were in Portugal and we spotted our reflections in the window of the train, so we pulled the silly face. So there we are, that's the guided tour of that. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. I was really touched by that. Yee Next. Every year, it's tradition, I be. Buys me fluffy socks, he left the price on. It's about like two pound for two pairs. <laughs> So I shall look forward to wearing these because they are very snuggly, but I'm definitely not going to walk around in my stockinged feet in them because it ruins my carpet. I need to make sure I put my Crocs on with them because otherwise they just leave fluff everywhere and it just doesn't even want to hoover up, honestly. It's a menace. I asked for these because somebody in the comments recommended them. So I said to IB straight away, I want these for Christmas because he was always asking me what do you want for Christmas because he doesn't like to uh, make it up. <laughs> They have got an expandable bottom. Oh yes, they have. I'm gonna open the box for you. Can you see what it is? You see, now I do reuse my freezer bags as it is to a point. I'll put them in the dishwasher and sort of prop them open on the prongs and use them again. But sometimes I don't, you know, sometimes if I'm out and about and I just wanna empty them out of my bag, I guess, just get rid of them. But anyway, these are reusable freezer bags and I'm completely destroying the box. Whoops. So this is the quart size ones you can write on them if you want to in marker pen they are bpa free they're freezer safe they're microwave safe ideal for storage and ideal for travel but i'm thinking sandwiches because like i've got loads of lunch boxes but sometimes when i've got a lot to carry in my bag i just i don't want to have an empty lunch box taking up all this capacity in the bag even though it's lightweight it's bulky and so i end up putting them in freezer bags or sandwich bags because then when it's done it's just it's going to take up a minimal amount of space in the bag so it's really going to be good for that and I do freeze stuff quite a bit now these days so I'm really happy for these. So he's actually got me two boxes. He's got me these big ones. Apparently half gallon bags. I don't really know about gallons um, so they must be American. I think I saw the American spelling of colour on there so they're definitely American. Anyway I'll put links in the description to anything I can get links to. I can ask IB for them anyway so if you're interested in having a look at them for yourself uh, you'll be able to find details of that down below. Not sponsored. Apart from that would be an affiliate link. So that's those. IB also bought me some coffee because he knows I love my coffee. Cafe Nero. I really like Cafe Nero. I must say of all the chain cafes like you know like Costa and Starbucks and all that, Cafe Nero I like the coffee the best from there. My favourite. 
he got me some second-hand DVDs. He said he left the price 50p on them because uh, he knows I like a bargain and I would appreciate it all the more if I knew he hadn't paid much for it, which is absolutely true. Maybe I'll save them to watch when he comes round. Yeah, because I think he wants to watch them really himself, you know? You know what it's like, you know, when you buy people presents, you buy them things that you really want. And there's loads of things I bought for people this Christmas that I really want myself. And Ivy's just used one of them for the first time. I bought my mum, my dad, and my boyfriend a telescopic duster. Like, it extends, like, it's like a great big fluffy duster. Feather, not a feather duster, but synthetic, you know. But a really, really, really long extendable pole. So long that I demonstrated to my mum how it worked by sitting cross-legged on the road downstairs and dusting the ceiling from sitting cross-legged because it was long enough to do that. I like the idea of those because it's better than getting on a chair and risking tottering over, you know. So none of them need to get on chairs now to dust their ceilings. So IB sent me a photograph of his today. He said, dust of one, cobwebs nil, <laughs> something like that anyway. Oh dear. Now, my dad knows he can't go wrong buying me stationery. So he's bought me some mailing bags. He's obviously realised that I'm quite often sending my daughter little packages of love <laughs> from the home to the university. Just, I don't know, it's hard to just cut off being a mum just like that when they leave. It's just, you feel like you've got to keep up the continuity of outpouring. So there's that. We'll have Valentine's Day coming up. Any excuse, Valentine's Day, and then there will be Easter. Um, so yeah, knowing that I love my subject dividers, Dad has also got me some subject dividers. You can never have too many of those, they will get used. Every time I set up a new music project, there's a new folder. I had these as well from a family member. Look, your chocolates, yum, yum. Looking forward to those. Uh, Dad also bought me a Pritt stick. I love Pritt sticks. I even take a Pritt stick on my pencil. I even take a Pritt stick. I even take, oh, there's so much noise outside. They're distracting me. Can you hear that? It's a crowd of people singing in the street outside my door. They're not carol singers, they're just, uh, in high spirits, walking down the street. <laughs> I shall try and say again what I just tried three times to say, but I was distracted by the noise. I take Pritt sticks on holiday. This is how much I love Pritt sticks because, you know, when you need a Pritt stick and you haven't got one, it's very frustrating. So there we are. Very happy with my Pritt stick. My mummy has bought me a pepper mill because she knew I didn't have a proper one. She was doing sneaky checking, you know, trying to slip it in conversation. Very obvious, mum. I knew what you were up to. Oh, so have you, have you got a proper pepper mill these days? You know, a month before Christmas. No, mum. <laughs> so yeah, but a lovely pepper mill. Very pleased about that. Because I've, I've just been using like one of these sort of ones from Lidl's. So it'd be nice to have an official proper one. Uh, my dad also bought me a pound folder from the works. Yeah, always useful. I get through so many of these and I'm quite often just rummaging around the house trying to recycle old ones. Now, the last things from my boyfriend, totally unexpected. Our friend, Damien Thompson, is a flute maker and he's also made whistles, though apparently he's stopping making whistles now. But I expect he's probably still got some to sell. I'll put a link, if I can find his website, I'll put a link to it in the description. He's an old friend of ours from the music scene. It's like one head, but these are interchangeable bodies and they're in different keys. One's lower than the other. One's a B flat and one's a C. So this will be the C major one, the shorter one, and the B flat one will be the longer one. So that's great. Very lovely surprise. Anyway, that's, that's my present haul. That's everything I got for Christmas. Very pleased with that lot. I hope you had a lovely Christmas as well. I'm going to round up this video now, but thank you so much for watching it. Do feel free to give it a like if you happen to like it. It helps the channel to grow. And if you're not subscribed and you'd like to watch more videos from me, do feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!